Two people are in the hospital because of a police chase that ended with a fiery crash. A 7 News' is Elise Devlin has more on this story. Deputies say the two minors stole the car they used during the chase. We spoke with the owners of that vehicle today. Adrenaline kicks in. You're like, what just happened? Gabriella Parham says if it weren't for her dog Bella continuously barking to alert her, she would have missed seeing the two minors who drove off in her car. All I saw was like a phone flashlight and I screamed, get out of the car. Unfortunately, they sped off. We were notified that the lowest speed they were going was 80 miles an hour and then the highest was 145. Deputies say a teenager and a preteen stole the car and refused to stop for deputies. During the chase, the sheriff's office says the stolen vehicle crashed and overturned before catching on fire. Nothing's really going to change about our lives besides a little bit of an inconvenience, but you guys could have died. Let that sink in. The Parhams tell us the car in their driveway was locked, but the member of law enforcement who responded mentioned to them a TikTok trend that involves breaking into certain older makes of cars like Kia Souls with a USB cord. They were able to break in my car, reverse it down the hill, and start it even though my key was inside the house, locked, safe. They say it's disappointing to see this in their neighborhood. The safety is one of the appeals to want to come and live here. And so to see this type of behavior escalate, this is an entire other invasion and it's just a stair step into breaking into homes. But Parham says this neighborhood will not put up with this if it continues. A lot more could have gone wrong. They're very lucky to be alive given the whole situation. And so I just want to say that um, I hope that something positive comes out of this for their sake and ultimately for the sake of this neighborhood. In Spartanburg County, Elise Devlin, 7 News. Uh, the Parms told us the miners were wearing masks to cover their faces.